Hey, I've personally tested over 35 VPN services and chose the best one for myself. It allows full access to all blocked websites at high speed. I have been working with this site for over seven years. In this short video, I will tell you a few secrets that will be useful to you. Don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. Now we are starting. Hi, I want to share with you my opinion and impressions of using VPN City. I have a very vast experience of working with various kinds of encryption services, and I could safely say that this service is worth paying attention to. VPN City is a brand new VPN service in Hong Kong, and although it is currently in beta testing, it still has some interesting and unusual features. This service already has extensions for Chrome and Firefox, for example, as well as apps for Windows, Android, and iOS. Support for up to 8 simultaneous connections means you can configure the service on more devices without facing annoying usage restrictions. The website lists several protocols, including Soft Adder, as well as OpenVPN, IVEV2, and L2TP IPsec. The details are unclear, but VPN City's website appears to be suggesting that the service provides you with both IPv6.2 and IPv4 addresses. Looks like the site has some good news on unlocking. VPN City doesn't just give you some vague general statement about how it lets you bypass geoblocking, but instead explicitly states that it gives you access to all content on Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, BBC iPlayer, Fire Stick, and more. Confidentiality and Registration most VPNs make big claims about how much they protect your privacy and VPN City is no different. Sign up and get zero online trust, the company proudly states, stating that unlike other VPN providers, we do not log your activity. Experience has taught us that many of these claims are rubbish, often contradicting VPN's own privacy policy. But VPN City is different. Its fine print is actually worth reading and contains some very basic details about the service and how it handles logging. Your actions are not tracked, recorded, logged, saved or shared with third parties. We do not store connection timestamps. Session information, used bandwidth, traffic logs, IP addresses or other data. Next, VPN City is based in Hong Kong and does not require data storage. The company continues to explain the data it collects to complete specific tasks and explains how it is processed. For example, if the VPN limits the number of connections a user can establish, we must use some method to track that. Rather than wondering how it works, VPN CD says that the algorithm retains its username and last session timestamp while the session is active. Programs. VPN City's Windows, Android, and iOS apps are simple and straightforward with nearly identical interfaces that take some approach as many other VPNs. Once you've submitted your email address to create a free account, the app registers you with the service and chooses the closest VPN address by default. By clicking the Connect button, you will connect to your preferred server, a desktop notification will tell you when you are secured, and the interface will update to reflect your new IP address. You can choose another location from a Simple list. This doesn't include any server load numbers or ping times, but you can mark certain locations as favorites, which conveniently moves them to the top of the list for easier access. Overall, VPN City's apps are in a good start, with their simple interface and clear focus on usability. But there is a lot of work to be done before they can deliver on the site's promises. If you're not sure if you want to try the full app, you can opt for the VPN City Chrome extension instead. You will still need to create a free account, and there are absolutely no settings in it. But the extension provides the bulk of the proxy. Pick a location, and it will connect you almost instantly. Netflix VPN City seems to be very confident on its website unblocking capabilities, and the company specifically states that it can draw you to Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, BBC iPlayer, and more. This is not just a marketing ploy. Whether we are connected to VPN City through a desktop client, for example, or through a browser extension, we were able to view and stream BBC iPlayer content with ease. It was the same story with Netflix. Whether we chose a location in New York or Los Angeles and used the client or browser extension, we could immediately view US-only Netflix content. VPN City has stomped on the limitations imposed by simple platforms that we've tried to, like giving us instant access to American YouTube clips. 
VPN City only has a handful of locations, which could mean it will be easier for Netflix and other platforms to block the service in the future. But right now, the company is doing well, and the website's commitments to unblock Netflix and others suggest VPN City will fight to keep the service running. Spectacle our speed test started from a sensible start with the nearest London VPN City server, which gives us an average of 50 to 55 megabytes per second on our 75 megabytes per second test line. The best of the competition might be 5 to 10 megabytes faster, but if you don't download gigabytes of torrents, you will hardly notice the difference. European speeds were similar, with a very stable speed of 45 to 55 megabytes per second.